All right, everybody, I don't even know where to begin. It has been a crazy weekend, uh, and we are now starting off the week with some sincere strength uh, in the BTC markets, particularly, right? Bitcoin was up from $48,000 over the weekend, and now trading as high as, you know, $54,000, $55,000 on some exchanges. So what we saw over the weekend was basically, you know, again, l weekends are very illiquid because the banks are shut down. So uh, arbitragers and, and market makers, you know, don't have as active of liquidity. So it's easier to kind of manipulate the price on a weekend um, just due to, you know, standard liquidity dynamics. Um, but what we're seeing is, you know, $50,000, long story short, holding quite a level of support uh, in confluence with that $2,000 former all time high for Ethereum. Um, which is now as well holding as a, as a support level. And we, we really do like to look at Bitcoin and Ethereum as, you know, they're the two largest uh, coins by market cap. So we, you know, we, we like to focus on kind of the capital flows around those two in particular, because what happens to those two coins tends to drive the rest of the dynamics in the altcoin market, right? So even though, um, you know, historically, a lot of the, the cryptocurrencies are very correlated to one another, um, over the past month, we've actually see, started to see a lot of those correlations break down. So, you know, as a, you know, Ethereum is gaining a lot of strength relative to Bitcoin, um, and a lot of these altcoins are starting to gain a lot of strength relative to Bitcoin. Um, we're, we're starting to see tons of volatility. So it's a really, really interesting uh, market to be trading right now. And if you guys aren't already, you know, interested in the crypto markets or, you know, sorry, if you guys aren't already invested in the crypto markets, check out our model portfolio. We've got, you know, a list of about 15 coins that we're actively trading and managing positions on. Um, a lot of them have, you know, upcoming fundamental news announcements and catalysts that we think are going to be driving prices higher. So check it out. Um, but yeah, what we're basically seeing is just tremendous strength in the altcoin market relative to Bitcoin. Um, you know, the, at, at the end of the day, right, we're going to be having um, a, a huge influx of, you know, new money coming into the space. Uh, you guys saw Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan actually announced yesterday that they're going to be having a Bitcoin actively traded fund that they'll be offering to their ultra high net worth clients. So the trend is clearly up. So all of this volatility that you guys see on the weekends, typically, right? All this volatility and these, these, these slight drawdowns are long term great opportunities uh, to lower your dollar cost average of your positions, right? If you're trying to build a position in crypto and get long exposure to this market, you're looking at these opportunities, you're foaming at the mouth, right? You're like, oh my God, this is mouthwatering. Uh, the fact that we could get a 15 or a 20% discount uh, in our, you know, in our crypto coins. So, so every time that there's a market correction, we're jumping at it. We're excited. Um, and in fact, we, you know, all of my subscribers, we have limit orders set, right? Where we have, um, target levels that say, Hey, if price goes down to this level, we already have a buy order that's going to be executed there. Um, so, so there's a lot of, you know, very, you know, cool, easy to use tactics that you guys can kind of start to incorporate if you know what to do, right? Uh, subscribe. There is a $1 trial. Check us out. And you guys are going to have a ton of fun. You guys are going to learn a lot. And there's a lot of money to be made in these markets and, and they're moving quite quick. So check us out.